everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a vlog sale so i have some handbags some jewelry some scarves and also a belt that i'm going to be selling and i'm also going to be telling you guys basically why i decided to let go of these items and all of the information about pricing how to purchase things and like what comes with these items like if i have the boxes or dust bags and whatnot all of that will be in the description box below even if you're not interested in buying any of these items i hope this is helpful for you guys in some way and yeah i'm going to leave timestamps to all the different categories in the description box down below also so let's get into this video so I'm going to start with the belt category first because I only have one belt that I'm selling in this video and it is the 30 Montan belt from Dior. So the reason I'm selling this belt, even though I really like how it looks, is because Dior actually came out with this exact style of belt but in a thinner width and I basically want to sell this one so I can get the thinner one. And that one, I also want it in black. Well, actually, that one is a reversible belt. So one side is black and the other side is like an off-white color. And since they look essentially the same, you know, it has the same exact logo, I didn't want to have two of them because I thought that it would be kind of repetitive. And what I have learned about myself is that with this belt, because it is this kind of thicker width, I only really use it when I'm wearing blazers so I kind of like have it around the waist on top of a blazer or if I use it over a coat or something like that it's not something that I would wear with like dresses or skirts or even jeans I don't really use this so it's a little bit limiting and did I mention that it's not the right size for me so it's a little bit too big for me and i've always been kind of thinking of getting like extra hole punched in this but i never ended up doing it so this one is as is it's as you purchase it and i think part of the reason is because i didn't want to alter it in any way just in case i wanted to sell it off you know it's always better if you keep it as it's produced by the designer so actually i even bought one of those um leather hole punchers myself from amazon and yeah i just couldn't bring myself to punch another hole in this belt so i think that you know that's kind of saying something you know i'm obviously a little bit hesitant about this so yeah when i do purchase a new one i'm going to go for the smaller size it's kind of a long story why i ended up buying the 75 centimeter size even though it didn't fit me even when i tried it on in the stores so yeah this is the one belt that i'm selling and honestly it's basically in like new condition there's nothing wrong with the leather by the way the leather on this is really really great i think it's probably one of the nicest belts that i've ever seen um it's definitely better than like the valentino ones or the gucci ones i mean what other belts have i seen i don't know at, at least it's better than those the leather quality on this is really great and yes there's some scratches on this buckle over here i'm sure that it was there when i got it initially um yeah i think it's one of those things that like it's just bound to happen even as people try it on in the boutique so yeah this is a really pretty belt it's just that i want to get it in a narrower width so yeah that's why i'm selling this so this year i actually purchased four new bags for myself and i don't officially have like a one in one out rule when it comes to bags but i did count how many bags i have in total and i have 15 and that's really the high end of the total amount of bags i want to have in my collection at any point i do love all of these bags but at the same time i'm not actually getting much use out of them anymore so yeah i hope that they can go to better homes and the first one on the kind of chopping block 
is my medium Fendi Peekaboo. This is in their dove gray color and it has the tortoise shell details on the turn lock over here as well as this little bar on the top. And this bag is just a little bit too big for my needs now. I've been really gravitating towards mini bags and I just, I don't even remember the last time I used this bag, honestly, which really is like a red flag right there. And I was kind of going back and forth on whether I wanted to sell this bag because it's, it's so pretty and it costs so much more than I bought it for about maybe five years ago at this point. But I was running some errands a few weeks ago and I had my Louis Vuitton Neverfull with me and I just threw like a bunch of stuff in there and it was really heavy. And I was with my husband that day and I kept complaining to him about how heavy that bag was because I was so used to carrying mini bags with like the bare essentials. And then that's when I realized I'm going to have the same complaint when I use this bag if I ever do use it just because I don't have the need to carry such a big bag anymore. You know, you can fit so much in here. And at one point, this was actually the bag that I used on a daily basis from Monday through Friday. This is still in really, really good condition. I've seen a bunch of them online on the pre-love market where the um, structure of this bag is basically gone. It's like either like flopping forward or backwards or whatever. This one is still very structured. Um, also, I never really undo these um, tabs on the side over here. So if you want to carry it just as it is right now, that's possible. Or if you wanted it to slouch down and have that peekaboo feature, you could do that yourself. The only thing is that the hardware is actually scratched up. And also I think like on the inside of this front piece over here, there is a little discoloration of the hardware. So that's pretty much the only major signs of wear and tear. There's no color transfer or anything on this bag. And I guess like the other little bit of wear and tear on this bag is I usually keep the strap on the shortest setting. So a little bit of the glazing on the side over here where it's sitting against this buckle has come off. I mean, it's, it's really, really minor, honestly. It's just a little tiny bit. If this is the size you're going to leave it at anyways, you're not going to notice it whatsoever. And even if you do switch to a different size, I don't really think it's that noticeable. So those are the only two major signs of wear and tear. But yeah, I think that this bag is still really, really gorgeous. It's been around for so long and it definitely is a classic. So yeah, I hope that this goes to a better home with someone who will actually use this bag because I think this is just too pretty to sit in my closet. And the bag that I think is going to be the most popular out of everything in this video is the Nano Speedy. So why am I selling this bag, <laughs> even though it's so highly sought after? And the reason is I just prefer leather bags. I've come to accept that about myself. And even though this is very carefree and whatnot and very lightweight, I just, I prefer leather handbags. And I think like about one or two weeks ago, I decided to use this for one last time to decide if you know I wanted to sell it or not. And yeah, I enjoyed using it, but I don't think that I would miss this in my collection if I didn't have it. I could have easily used another bag that day. And if I wasn't trying to see how I felt about this bag one last time, I would have used a different bag, I'll be honest. So that's the main reason why I'm selling this bag. And yeah, it's just last year when I bought it, I used it a ton because, you know, like I was just like sanitizing so much and it was nice to have a canvas bag where like I didn't have to worry about like getting any alcohol stains on it or anything. But 
yeah i don't i don't think i need to go to that extreme anymore so this is yeah it's 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 not really getting used so i think that there are a lot of people out there who would appreciate this more than i do and the only thing that is really wrong with this bag i guess is that on the bottom there's this one little loop in the string that is exposed over here it's the color of the string that they use to sew like the seams on the inside of the bag it's just kind of exposed over here it was like this when i bought it at that point i just didn't want to try to stock the website for another one so i kept it it's really really minor but that is there and i don't know if you would consider it a defect and there is some darkening of all this untreated leather but that's that's something that you're going to have to be okay with if you want to you know have this bag in your collection but aside from that this is still in really great condition i haven't gotten any water stains or anything on the handles and yeah once again Hopefully this goes to a much better home. I'm sure that there is someone out there who would love to have this in their collection. And the last bag that I am selling is my reissue in the 225 size. And this one has the ruthenium hardware. So this is actually out of all the bags that I currently own. In the span of time that i've owned every single bag this is by far my most used bag but i did purchase four mini reissues this year so i think that's that's a lot that's a whole lot of one single style of bag and i have one of the mini reissues in black with the soul black hardware on it and i've been using that one over this one basically any time that i've been reaching for you know like an understated black bag i've been going for that one over this one every single time so even though they are different sizes i think it's a little bit redundant and i don't need this amount of space in my bag anymore i actually did a comparison between the mini reissue and this 225 size I'll link it up here if you're interested and yeah there is enough space in the mini size for me to put everything that I need in it so this one is just kind of collecting dust in my closet in a way so yeah I'm going to be selling this one on and if in the future I ever decide to add one of these again I'm definitely going to buy one pre-loved myself I'm not going to pay the price for a new one at the boutique but yeah who knows if i'm even going to want to do that so this bag is from i bought it in 2017 i believe and it's a 24 series so it's around four and a half years old at this point but i do take very good care of all of my bags so there is no major wear and tear on this whatsoever there are some scratches on the hardware of course which is to be expected there is very very minimal wear on the corners at the bottom the main wear and tear that you can see from the outside of the bag is this front part towards the bottom over here there is a little bit of like a crease across the bottom like the middle ish two-thirds of the bag and i suspect that's because i usually put my phone in this front pocket over here so that probably weighs down on it a little bit so there is a little bit of like a crease over there it's not too bad whatsoever and then like all of these double flaps you will have like a little bit of um, indents from the chains on the inside of this flap over here and then from the zipper those are really to be expected but aside from that this is still in really great condition this bag is also made in france i think there are people that definitely prefer made in france over made in italy so this one is made in france so yeah hopefully someone will love this bag as much as i have loved this bag and i still do love this bag it's just 
having five of one specific style is a, a little bit crazy so yeah i'm going to be selling this one from my collection and hopefully that will bring my collection down a little bit so there's still room for growth but at the same time i will get enough use out of every single bag there and yeah although i really love how these bags look i don't really believe in just having bags as shelf bags so yeah hopefully they go to better homes now moving on into the jewelry category there are three pieces of jewelry that i'm selling the first one is this pair of the tribal earrings from dior so one side of it is a fake pink colored pearl and the other side is full of rhinestones and kind of like a grayish color and honestly dior does not make these tribal earrings like they once did nowadays they are so heavily logoed and it kind of actually upsets me but yeah i bought these quite a while ago and they are costume jewelry which if you've watched like my videos in the past i have mentioned that my ears are sensitive to you know like costume jewelry if it's not like real gold then they will get irritated and these earrings really irritate my ears unfortunately i think they are so pretty even just to look at i think they are so pretty and they really look so nice on and every single time i wear i really like how they look but after about an hour of having them on my ears just get so irritated and i can't even count how many times i've worn these out of the house and basically had to take them off in the middle of the day just because i couldn't deal with it anymore and that irritation would last into like the next day or two and yeah i've just come to accept that it's it's just not quite worth it for me so i started just to wear these during um these videos when i'm filming them but even then you know it doesn't take that long to film one of these videos and even then by the time that i take these off right after i turn off the camera yeah my ears are irritated so i have come to accept that i just have to let go of them maybe i will ask my local jeweler to make me something similar in like real gold but i haven't decided if i wanted to go that route yet so yeah i am going to be letting these go and they are so pretty i don't know why dior has started to make them with like logos and a bunch of really like gaudy looking things in my opinion but that's a totally different story i think that the old ones were so much prettier and the quality of these is really great there's no missing rhinestones on it or anything the pearls aren't scratched up either so yeah these earrings so pretty but just doesn't really work for me so that's the first um piece of jewelry that i'm selling and the last two is actually the same item but in different colors so it is my two um, return to tiffany's bracelets i have one of them with the blue colored enamel heart on it and the other one is a pink enamel heart and when i was younger i basically couldn't wait for the day that i could afford these <laughs> and when i bought them i did wear them for a while but it's been so many years since i last wore these two bracelets and i was kind of thinking that i would save it for in the future for you know like if i eventually had like a daughter or something like that i would just gift it to them as kind of like somewhat of an heirloom if this even counts as an heirloom or just you know like a little hand-me-down piece of jewelry that maybe they would appreciate because it is from tiffany's i don't know but anyways that is such a hypothetical situation that i just don't think it makes sense for me to keep these around for like something that might happen so yeah i'm going to 
sell these along to someone who will actually wear them because they do look really cute and I love the colors on this so yeah definitely a great like starter piece of jewelry but I think I've just outgrown these but yeah I've kept them in really great condition also there's like nothing wrong with the enamel hearts on it whatsoever but there are scratches along the sterling silver just it's to be expected and i have it priced in the description box for if you were to purchase them separately but if you do buy both of them then i can give you a little bit of a discount just because all the prices are inclusive of shipping and you know like if i ship these two together then it's not really going to cost me too much more to ship it so i can give you guys a discount if you buy both of them together so in my vlog sale from last year i actually sold off a bunch of my irma scarves already but there were two that i wasn't quite ready to let go of at that point but i have since come to terms with the fact that I don't use them i should just sell them off so one of them is a twilly and i actually don't have either of these scarves on hand right now so i will show you clips from my older videos and also photos of the scarves so you guys can know that i do actually own these items but the twilly is not something that i ever use because i didn't really tie twillies around the handles of my bags and I don't really usually spend much effort decorating my bags either so the twilly even though it is in a really pretty color combination in my opinion it's like a dark blue and like a lighter blue and a light pink also I actually think this is like one of the prettiest twillies I've seen the colors really work so well so yeah I've kind of decided that even though it looks really nice I just don't use it so why am I keeping it around so hopefully it matches one of your bags really nicely or if you use twillies in your hair or you tie it around your neck or something like that hopefully someone finds better use for it and I will show some clips of what it looks like when it's tied so you can get a better sense of what it will look like instead of just having it laid out as a scarf on its own I don't think that's necessarily the best way to judge how it would look on so that's the first one that I'm selling and the second scarf that I'm selling is one of their mousseline scarves which is this really thin silk scarf it's like this airy spring summer type of scarf so it's in this pattern called under the waves the twilly I don't actually know what the pattern is called but the mousseline scarf is in the under the waves pattern and when i did my vlog sale from last year i actually sold um the 90 by 90 centimeter scarf in the same pattern and i thought i would hold on to the mousseline scarf especially since there is this crazy ridiculous story attached to it i actually did a video telling the story i'll leave a link up here if you're interested but yeah i just decided that i'm i'm going to let that one go too and honestly if anyone from hermes saw this they would think that i am the most unloyal customer because i basically ended up selling like almost everything i bought from them that of course wasn't my intention when i first bought these items but you know now i've realized that they're just not for me and yeah i just decided that there are a lot of people out there that love collecting these scarves and love wearing them i'm just not that type of person so yeah i'm going to let someone else get the use out of them and to my understanding both the twilly as well as this mousseline scarf don't have any snags on it or anything there are you know the creases here and there just which is standard for when you're tying a scarf the mousseline one however i will note that since it is a really sheer fabric it could be prone to snag so i did check to the best of my ability but you know like there is a little bit of room for error so just keep that in mind i wanted to be completely transparent with you guys 
And yeah, those are all the items that I'm selling in this vlog sale. So that is it for this video and I really hope you guys found it helpful in some way even if you're not thinking about purchasing any of these items. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next so I'll see you very soon. Bye for now! Mm -hmm.